Hello, I'm going to introduce you with Simulis Thermodynamics. It's ProSim calculation server for thermophysical properties and phase equilibria calculations on pure components and mixture. Simulis Thermodynamics is a component that can be plugged directly in any application such as MATLAB, Microsoft Excel, Delphi, etc. Today, to show you the basics of seamless thermodynamics, I'm going to use it from Excel. So after you installed seamless thermodynamics on your computer, you open a new Excel documents. You create a new spreadsheet. You go on the tab, which is called add-in. and you select insert and you can see that you can insert different simulis objects, simulis compound, simulis calculator, etc. For a simple example, I'm going to insert on the spreadsheet a simulis calculator object. So I select it. And it appears here. If you go back to the Simulis button, you can see all the action that you can do with your Simulis object. You can rename it, delete it, edit it. You can change the input unit system or the output unit system. You can change the language, etc. And you also have access to the help. So right now I'm going to do a right click on the calculator. I'm going to check my unit system. So you can see all the units. Right now I want to make sure that my temperature drop is in degree Celsius. So I modify it. After I click on OK. I go back to my seamless calculator object, I do a right click and I click on edit the calculator. So you have a new window for the seamless calculator. On the left column you see the basic action such as open, save as, modification, configuration, etc. On the center of your interface, so you have a tab system where you have compounds, model, parameter. And on the right side, you have the actions that are related to the tab where you are. So for compounds, I can open a new document, select my chemical compound, add a new one, create a pseudo compound. For my simple example, I want to add water and ethanol. So I click on select compounds. I have a new window that shows up. So this is the compounds window with a search engine. So I click on water. I either click enter or search. Here in my list, I have water. I double click on water to add it in the column named selected compounds. Now I need to add ethanol. So I write ethanol, click on search, ethanol appear. I double click on it and I have the two compounds I wanted to have in my column called selected compounds. By the way, on the left here, you have search in and the different name of the databases that I have access to from Simulis Thermodynamics. If you want, you can add your own database inside the list and have access to it directly from here. So, now that I am done with the selection of chemical compounds, I click on close. 
I'm going back to my calculator interface where I see that I have my two compounds in the middle. On the right, I see all the action that I can do with it. I can select, edit these compounds, add a new one, remove or clone the compounds, etc., etc. Right now, I'm going to click on model. Here, I have all the, the thermodynamic models, and I am looking for the NOTL model for my simple example. So I click on profile here. I can see all the thermodynamics model available. I choose on RTL and I see here the information related to my thermodynamic model. I go directly to BNIRIS. I do an automatic search, so I click here on the right automatic search, the tabs filled out automatically. And then I click on calculate. So I have a new window that shows up called calculation service. I can see the type of calculation here. I want to do equilibria calculation, but I also can see that I can do exergy calculation or phase envelope, etc. But here I'm interested with equilibria, which I select. So I want bubble and dew temperature, which is already selected. I have my mixture composition here on the right. So I modify the, uh, the information about ethanol. Here we go. And now I click on calculate the current session. And here I have my bubble temperature and dew temperature. I can copy the graph. I can print it. I can go also to the next graph where I can see my vapor fractions. If I close the graph window, I have all my results in one table. I can copy the results, export them to Excel, plot the points. I can see here that I can use my results very easily. So to get out, I call I press on quit and I go back to my spreadsheet where I have my stimulus calculator. So this is the end of my example. Thank you very much for your attention. For more information about stimulus thermodynamics, please contact us or go to our website www.prosim.net where you will have more information and contact form to reach us directly. Thank you.